Gee, you kind of get the idea that he's, he's kind of shrinking in size. <laughs> Body Stu Carter here from Atomai.com, and I'm super psyched. I've got the entire first wave of action figures for Ben 10 Omniverse, and I'm going to go through all of them at once. So stand by for a Ben 10 toy review. Now, you guys who subscribed to my channel, you had your first look at some of these new characters way back in January when I was at the London Toy Fair. We had an early look at some of these characters, some blocks, and some of the others for Ben 10 Omniverse. Well, now they're out, they're on the shelf. We're going to open each up and have a good look at them. So here's the lineup. 16-year-old Ben Tennyson. Rook. Super Forearms. Blocks. Shock Squatch. Grab Attack. Feedback. And 10-year-old Ben. What's missing? What we don't have yet? Edel. And Spider Monkey, we're expecting later this year, perhaps late October or November. So stand by for those two, Edel and Spider Monkey, still to come. And as usual, these figures come with accessories. Uh, the two Ben Tennysons come with their hoverboards. Uh, Rook comes with a gun. And then the rest of the figures come with this uh, Omnitrix Challenge minifigure. And to explain that, this works with the Omnitrix Challenge. Now, Bandai makes two uh, Omnitrixes every year. Uh, like a higher, you know, a more expensive, fully featured one, and a little bit lower priced one. And that's this is a lower priced one, the Omnitrix Challenge, and then that's what that minifigure is going to work with. It's that little two-player game. And I did a video review of this uh, a few uh, weeks ago. You can look at that and see how that works. And to give you an idea about how these changed over the years, I'll show you some of the older figures. Here's a stink fly. I believe this is from the first wave that ever came out. And these came with. A uh, display base that had some facts about the planet, and it had a card that had facts about the planet. And the display base had a, a red window, and you could put that over the card and get some secret codes to do something with. I think I'll, I'll do something online. And then I, uh, here's the uh, bounty hunter. I believe that's from the second year. And he came with discs that would go into the disc uh, alien Ultra Matrix, which was the lower priced uh, Ultra Matrix in that year. And then uh, Later on, we had Swampfire, and he came with this uh, alien minifigure, which would work with, what do they call that, the ultimate Omnitrix. And you put that on top of the Omnitrix, it would light up. So that was kind of cool. So they've, they've had these little minifigures for several years now, and it's uh, interesting to see what they put out. And by the way, you better save these card backs because they're giving you the, the values if you've got to play the Omnitrix challenge with these minifigures. So it shows here that Blocks has got pretty high strength uh, but his speed is lower and there's feedback and then here's another card back a little bit different one It's got more of the figures on it and you can see Gravitac has got like super strength But he's pretty slow because he's you know, he's huge So yeah, keep those if you're gonna play the Omnitrix challenge game. Well, let's look at 10 year old Ben Tennyson first uh, I believe we've seen this hoverboard before haven't we let me know in the comments uh, and you can see he's got his trademark uh, baggy green pants and you know, this and the older Ben Tennyson are entirely new sculpts. Uh, they're entirely new. Here, I'll show you one of the older original style Ben Tennysons I've got. And uh, you can see, well, uh, the new one's a lot smaller. You know, he, he's made more in scale to a 10-year-old compared to the 16-year-old Ben Tennyson, which I'll show you in a second. But, yeah, so this is an entirely new sculpt for Ben. And... Uh, He's on his hoverboard. There's a peg for him to stand on so he can pose on the hoverboard. He can bend his knees and his elbows and at the shoulders and he can turn his head. So that's pretty nice. He's easy to pose. And um, he's got his old style uh, thick soled shoes with the uh, lug soles in the bottom. One thing I'm, I'm not really liking about him is uh, Bandai printed lot numbers in black on his white shirt there you see that and uh, that's done for safety reasons in case they have to have a recall uh, the other figures are printed in places where you don't notice it as much but on the white shirt with the black ink it really sticks out it kind of so here's those uh, original style uh, sneakers and you see he's got the lug soles on the bottoms of his feet just like the older versions and then there's that problem with the uh, lot number being stamped on his white shirt. 
I wish they, I guess they just decided they didn't have room to put it on his butt because he's so small. And there you see he's got the old version Omnitrix on his wrist. And then uh, the big eyes and the big green eyes. And the original style shirt, with just a white shirt with the black striped accent. Yeah, so that's 10-year-old Ben Tennyson. Okay, and here we'll bring in 16-year-old Ben Tennyson, and he's got the updated style of the hoverboard. And then you can see why they made the younger one smaller, so that he looks more like he's younger compared to 16-year-old Ben. Uh, and uh, they're both a little bit more uh, anatomically correct, you know, like, well, they're skinnier than the older style Ben. Let's look closer at 16-year-old uh, Ben. So 16-year-old Ben's got new style of, of shoes, more like uh, sneakers, but they're still green and white. And he's got that updated version of the Omnitrix and longer hair. And there you can see that his lot numbers, they're printed back there. Uh, we'll go in a close-up, you'll see that. They're printed on the back of his pants in black ink on brown. So you really don't notice him that much. And uh, he's got those new style eyes. We'll look, at, we'll look at those in close up. So here's those sneakers that 10 year old Ben is wearing. And you can see because of the hoverboard, it's easy to put them in a dynamic pose. He's got pegs on the bottom of his feet and the brown trousers. And there's this new style Omnitrix on his wrist compared to the one that the young Ben wears. And he's, of course, he's got his shirt with the number 10 on it. And his eyes aren't really those anime eyes I've seen in the posters. Those look normal except for the green. Interesting. And then you see, you don't see his, his little lot numbers on his butt. So it's not really so obvious. Yeah, so 16-year-old Ben Tennyson. Right, so for aliens, we'll start with Rook. Uh, we first had a look at him with uh, the Proto Truck, which I reviewed uh, a few weeks ago. And uh, here we finally get to see him in his uniform or spacesuit. And I do like the coloring on this. It's nice, subtle coloring. And uh, he's got some details. And on each of these uh, aliens has about five different paint jobs applied to them. So there's a, there's a good amount of work and they all have some articulation. He can bend his knees and his uh, hips and uh, elbows and shoulders too and uh, turn his head. And uh, one thing about them though is this guy, some of these stand up pretty easy and some don't. And he's a little, little bit hard to balance, but of course because you can bend the knees and flex them at the hips, you can get them uh, in balance there pretty well. And you see, here's a translucent version of Rook that we got with the proto truck a few weeks ago. And all we had really to go on was his eyes. Otherwise, it's just a body shape and it's blue. We didn't get much details or highlights of what his spacesuit was going to look like. And a Rook, of course, is not an Omnitrix alien, but he, so his accessory is that pistol he's carrying. Oh, there, see? He's a little hard to stand him up. But he does have peg holes in his feet, so you can put him, if you've got the right kind of mount, you can put him in a diorama. But uh, I was saying, he's got uh, just this pistol for his accessory. He doesn't have the little mini alien figure uh, to use with the Omnitrix challenge. So there's those wimpy feet on Rook, you know, compared to the other guys. But he's styled in his spacesuit, and he's got some kind of belt going on his, at his waist. And there's a, like a, a hip belt thing within, with uh, some pouches. And then I'm going to talk about this pistol he's got. Uh, you know, for one thing, he's not holding it very well, is he, right? That's not a good way to hold, you know, it's not straight. And then the detail on the pistol is not what I would like to see, but otherwise, you know, at least he's got a, something. That's nice. But the rest of the figure is some of the nicer details of all of them, and especially like uh, and uh, the look of his head and face. It's very interesting and, and sharp looking. Yeah, and I'll let you see the back. Yeah. It's two of those, three of those screws are painted on and there's two real ones <laughs> to hold them together. Interesting. So that's Rook. Now we've come to Omnitrix Aliens and I'm gonna start with the old guy forearms. And uh, you can see there, each of these guys, the Omnitrix Aliens comes with the mini figure to work in the Omnitrix Challenge. And you can see that uh, uh, it, it's funny, this guy, he's got these spindling little legs and feet. You'd think it'd be hard for him to stand up, but actually he balances pretty well uh, because you can bend him at the knees 
and uh, rotate his upper body back and forth a little bit to get him in balance. But, uh, and don't, there you see his lot numbers on his back, you know, kind of well disguised, that one is. And uh, again, it looks like uh, six, five or six colors uh, on him, paint jobs, and you can see his Omnitrix symbol. And we're going to take a close up look uh, at him. And here's uh, forearms uh, compared to a couple of older versions of forearms from uh, a few years ago. And see, you kind of get the idea that he's, he's kind of shrinking in size. <laughs> the older ones, uh, almost an inch bigger, uh, including larger legs and feet and stuff. And it's interesting. But like the older ones, he can bend his elbows on one pair of arms, and the other arms can just swing up and down. Uh, but wow, that's a big difference there, isn't it? Gee. So there's those spindly feet on forearms, but remarkably, he's still able to stand up pretty well, even in some poses. His uh, Omnitrix symbol, big chest, and uh, those strange four eyes that he has. Four arms, four eyes, you know. And if I had four arms, I could run the TV remote control, eat chips, drink my soda, and check my email all at the same time. I would enjoy that. So that's four arms. So now we get to the all new aliens for Ben 10 Omniverse, and uh, this is Gravitac. I like his chunky monkey style. He's a big old chunky guy, and he, his minifigure is chunky as well. And uh, have we figured out what is the deal with this red orb uh, on his chest? Is there energy that comes out of that? Because his Omnitrix symbol is on his forehead between his eyes. And uh, he, boy, he's got those knobs and stuff all over his back and his shoulders and stuff. And uh, big arms and big feet. It's no, no trouble posing this guy. He can swivel his hips but he can't bend his knees, but he can bend his uh, elbows and shoulders. That's nice. So you can get him in some dynamic poses here. And uh, he can raise up a little bit and he can stomp on stuff. I'm going to do that later. And here he is against that, uh, the deluxe figure that came out a few weeks ago. And you know, the deluxe figure you could even see into his mouth, which is kind of funny. Uh, but uh, they both have got great paint job on them. This very bright and colorful. And uh, looks like a lot of fun to play with. So there's those big stumpy feet on Gravitac and uh, like those dinosaur plate protrusions. Uh, that's what they remind me of, dinosaurs, right? And that mysterious orb. I hope you guys will help me out in the comments and tell me uh, what happens with that. <laughs> and the funny grin he's got with the uh, Omnitrix symbol on his forehead. And then this more stony protrude, that's, that's what I mean to say, stony. Like, well, he's like a planet, right? Big stony planet. And then you can see that safety lot number on his back. You know, it doesn't look so obvious. And then those huge hands. And he can hold stuff uh, if it's not real heavy. You can have him hold things up. So that's Gravitac. And Shock Squats, another big alien. Big feet. No trouble getting this guy to stand up just about anywhere you want. And uh, he can, uh, he's got these huge hands too, but he can flex his knees and elbows and shoulders. Uh, and, but he can't turn his head because he's pretty much no neck kind of guy, you know. He's just, he's just a big dude. Yeah. But no trouble getting this guy to stand up. And so there you can get a good look at the, uh, those big thick feet on shock squats. And then there's one of his big hands. And uh, clearly you can see that he's got some kind of knob on the side of his yeah, wrist there too. You see that? Yeah. And there's his Omnitrix symbol. And then, uh, yeah, there's his head. Well, no neck, just a big head. And look at what are these little knobs on the side of his head as well. See those on his neck? There's two of them. Interesting. And, uh, but nothing else on his back. And, yeah, yeah, and then there's that knob on his wrist again. But you can see you can uh, you can get him to hold stuff if it's not real heavy. You can get the figure to hold stuff. So that's shock squatch and feedback. Another new alien with his mini figure. He's got these look like electrical or sonic plugs. He's the only one of these new aliens with a tail. And also, for me, I'm having the most trouble getting him to stand up. He's staying up there good now, but that tail seems to get him out of balance. 
And so I have to kind of bend him forward just right and extend his arms just so, and then he'll stand up on his own. The, the good thing is for all these joints, they kind of stay in place once you flex them a certain way so they don't just collapse once you bend them where you want to put them. But uh, I, I've had a little bit of trouble getting him to stand up just right. But, uh, well, and, and, and those antenna coming out of his head kind of make him look like a Rasta man, don't they? With those plugs on him and then the plugs on his fingers and stuff. That's a very unique looking character. So there's feedbacks, you know, my feet are spindly so I can't stand up properly. That's, and you can see that on his tail even there's some, there's detail of that plug thing on his little uh, antennas, uh, his, his tail and his, his hand, his fingers really are like plugs. Poor guy. And there's one of those hair plug extensions and his Omnitrix symbol. And that weird head. And the, the plugs on his fingers. Here I'm going to risk a dynamic pose and see if he'll stay in place. So that's feedback coming at you. Oh. <laughs> And here we go, the last of our aliens is Blocks, a big blocky character, multicolored, about five or six colors there, with this little minifigure. And this guy, he does not stand up on his little tiny, look at his little tiny nub of, of feet and legs. I mean, it's just, uh, all they do is they, they're jointed right here. So you can just kind of rotate those a little bit. And then his arms go up and down a little bit. And you could turn his blocky hands a little bit as well but he pretty much has to stand up sort of like an ape-like pose and I can't get him to do look at his minifigure his minifigure his feet lift his back end up off the air I can't get him to do that I tried I tried but I just can't he won't he won't do it I mean if you guys can get it done post it on bin10toys.net if you get a picture of it but I can't get him to do it <laughs> he doesn't want to cooperate but he can raise an arm up and stand he can do that. And so getting up close with the uh, blocks, you can see his, his hands are like mega blocks, remind me of, you know, those little, not, not like Legos, they're bigger, they're chunky, like, you know, like how mega blocks are. And there's his Omnitrix symbol, and then his head, well, I'm sure his mommy loves him. Yeah, and the green eyes, and then you look at his size, see there's those little chunks, like mega blocks, and his back has got those indentations or, or, or those pegs as well like the blocks you would you would play with and that's blocks
Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. And if you like Ben 10, you better hit that subscribe button because I've got a whole bunch more Ben 10 toys to talk about. We've got to talk about these feature figures. They've got voice modules that work with the Omnitrix Touch. But it's not just Ben 10 over here. Oh, no. Look at this. I've got... It's huge. <laughs> the Star Wars MTT vehicle by Hasbro. It's You're going to like this review. Boy, that's a big ship. And... I've got the Beyblades Destroyer Dome to talk about and a whole bunch more stuff. So until next time, have a good day. No one I know is how to kill me. I guess I'm doing okay. I'm lost, I'm lost among the millions.